up what's poppin how you doing let's take a break from a dior unboxing just for right now and let's take a closer look of this louis vuitton runner paddock sneakers <laughs> Okay, okay, I cannot wait to show you what's inside of this box right here. You guys know I love sneakers and so I'm excited to show it to you guys. This sneakers is actually not mine, it's my mom. So this is me flexing how cool my mom is. Anyways, who are the sneaker lovers right here? Raise your hand. Yeah, I can literally wear sneakers every single day. I do want to share this with you guys for some informational purposes. You know, these are some big purchases. At least for me, I do lots of research before I buy. Anyways, here's the shoes right here. It also comes with the receipt right here. And she gave us two perfumes. Oh yes, I'm so excited. I can barely smell it. This has a retail price of 1220 Actually, this is kind of weird because online it shows it is 1300 But in the receipt, it only shows 1220 So, the it actually came up to total of 1320 all right, let's open this bad boy right here. But before that though, if you guys are new here in my channel, hi, my name is Mikey and I post videos every single week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. You already know where it is. Come subscribe, it's free 99. <laughs> For the past three videos, we've been opening the Your Boxes, and so I'm excited to open something new. Yes, sir. Even though it is not mine, you know, the experience, that's all I need. That's all I need. This feels like Christmas, you know? Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, first thing that I see is this box right here. I'm not sure what this is. Oh! an extra shoelace and here are the shoes it actually came with two separate dust bag ah. what these are so nice we don't have the same shoe size but you know what let me put on some thick socks and i will make it work <laughs> oh my gosh can you guys see that i don't know i think it's still very minimal for like a luxury sneakers because it's not very poppin especially the color that she picked there's actually different kinds of colorways which i will post it all right here i've been eyeing that black and green right there what do you guys think because i think that looks so cool but for my mom, this is so perfect. She's definitely going to wear this a lot. Look at that details. It has a very strong smell. I don't know what it is. Is it a chemical? Is it a glue? I don't know. I can't describe it, but it's strong. Honestly, I am loving this different patches of materials. We do have some mesh, some suede, and some rubber. Alrighty, let's put this bag and let's take a closer look of this shoe. Does this remind you of apple pie from McAdee's or something? <laughs> or is it just me? Alrighty, inspired by running shoes, the LV Runner Tatic Sneakers made its debut at Louis Vuitton's Spring Summer 2022 show. This model comes in a mix of materials including mesh textile and suede calf leather and has a padded collar and technical lining for extra comfort. It features an LV initial logo 
and monogram flowers on the side. Black, mix of materials, rubber outsoles, Louis Vuitton signature on the tongue, LV initials and monogram flowers on the side, and Louis Vuitton signature on the outsole. What do you guys think about this shoe? Like what? Look at all that details. This right here actually has some weight compared to my other regular sneakers. This is kind of heavy. So if you guys are running with this or just doing it for fashion, I feel like this will help you losing weight because of how heavy they are. I do want to tell you guys about the shoe sizing in men's in Louis Vuitton. It's very weird. In Louis Vuitton shoe size, you would have to subtract two. So if you are a size 10, then you are a size 8 in Louis Vuitton. But it's only just the men's shoe size, not the women's. The women's, you would get your regular shoe size. But anyways, for a reference, this is a size 7 in Louis Vuitton size. And you can actually see the number behind the tongue. I just love the detail and kind of how low-key this shoe looks like. Just very minimal. There's nothing extra about it, which I love. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like if you like it and also subscribe if you haven't. Anyways, for our next video, I will be back with our Dior unboxing and it is another sneakers. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe and keep in touch. Anyways, before I forget, today's shout out goes to you. Thank you so much for commenting. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Hello? <laughs> Bye.